It started off small, you know, more and more people got involved. And right now, this is our fifth annual, and it's, it's really amazing. Although five years is not a long time for a lot of other international events, for us in the Turks Caicos and at the wine cellar, five years of putting on an event that can bring the whole community together, having fun and giving back, five years means a whole lot to us. The wine cellar is one of the oldest local businesses on the island and over the years the community has treated us really well. So we just wanted to find some way to give back. I mean, we do a lot of charity work, but this is turning out to be one of our biggest events. And it's just kind of a brainchild of Gillies and we took it and flew with it. You know? When we thought about putting on an event over a weekend that will bring people in the community together, we thought about a two pastime sports that people on the island love and enjoy. One of those was fishing, and the other one is golfing. And we thought if we put on those two events together, that we'll be able to bring a cross sector of the community together. But also people that come and visit us, there will be something that they really enjoy. Uh, and that's, that's the whole idea about it. Turks and Caicos Islands, obviously uh, fishing is going to be a huge part of local life and I think we're one of the three destinations in the Caribbean for the greatest golfing. So let's put two and two together, I mean uh, some genius came up with the idea, it wasn't me. <laughs> Probably Gilly. But yeah, I mean it's, it's natural, I mean it just goes hand in hand. We have some of the prettiest water in the world, the best beaches, our fishing is great, you don't have to go too far. So to fish here is fantastic. And the golf course, although we only have one golf course on this island, the guys who built and operated, every year they keep on making it better and better and more enjoyable for those of us, like myself, who try to play golf. I just keep on loving it. But what I love about both golfing and fishing, it really brings people together. Like you're out on a boat for four, five, six, eight hours, and it gives you time to connect with yourself, connect with people who you don't normally have as much time during the work week. But you're really enjoying Mother Nature, enjoying what life has to offer, and enjoying the guys or girls you're fishing with. Meanwhile, while you're having fun, enjoying it, and giving back to the community. For me, the biggest thing is giving back. For me, that's, that's making me excited. Each year, we pick two charities. Every year, it's the Edward Garland Youth Center, which is a big deal for us, because they do a lot of work, and it's a 100% charity organization. So we choose them in another sports-oriented charitable organization. We've always had huge support from all the local businesses. I mean, without their help, this wouldn't be possible. As you can see, everyone's out here now supporting in the way that they're just coming out, buying stuff, you know, buying our shirts, buying the hats, and being together and having fun. For me, this is exactly what, what God put us on earth for, is to enjoy the earth, give back to the earth, and make it a better place. And that's what we in the Wine Cellar Golf and Fishing Tournament is trying to do.